What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Neuro Sketch with Dr. Kenny. But if this is the first time you see this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's have a quick recap on the muscle of the posterior compartment with the forearm, which is also called the extensor supinator compartment, because the main actions here are the extension and supination. The very first muscle which we're going to discuss again today is the brachioradialis muscle. We discussed about the brachioradialis when we were doing the anterior compartment, and we said this muscle is functionally grouped under anterior compartment, but uh, anatomically found located in the posterior compartment together with the post the mass of the posterior compartment even we mentioned that uh, uh, it's been invested by the nerve which is invested the same muscles um with the same nerve which invades the posterior compartment the posterior compartment the posterior compartment as can be grouped in two groups i um, mean two rares the superficial rare and the deep rare and the superficial has got six muscles in total six muscles in total out of these six four muscles originating from the medial are from the lateral epicondyle four muscles originating of the lateral epicondyle and then the the uh, the last two muscles to make six originating above the lateral epicondyle the supracondylar ridge supracondylar ridge on the lateral surface this is the um the brachioradialis muscle together with the extensor capillaris longus the extensor capillaris longus because we already discussed about the uh, brachioradialis muscle i going to hide this muscle and then starting with uh we started our discussion with um this muscle which is called the extensor capi radialis longus you can all all figure out from the name it extends the corpus on the radius and it's found on the radio side right and it is longus because we have uh, a shorter version of it and this is the extensor capi radialis brevis it's shorter than the longus we you can all remember the action of this muscle you can all remember the action of this muscle and then after that one uh, that's the third muscle the fourth one is the extensor um digitorum extensor digitorum it extends the digits which digits you can all see the the middle three digits have been extended by the extensor digitorum after that one we have um the extensor digit minimi it extends the small digits the small finger and it's called the extensor digit minimi and lastly from the uh, superficial group we have this extensor capi analis extensor capi analis what does it extend it extends the corpus the wrist at what point meaning a uh, wrist but it's found in the ulna side to differentiate with those which extend the wrist but they're found in the on the on the radio side uh, found on the radio side those are the six uh, superficial muscles but six superficial muscles on the deep muscles also they will have the first one the uh the supinary muscle what does it do that's supination and supination I'm, I'm chopping it out and then after supination you have the abductor policies longus abductor policies longus what does it do it abduct the policies the the thumb but it is longest because we have the shorter version of it and then after that one um you have or we have um uh, extensor policies longus extensor policies longus because it extends the policies um but it is longer we have a shorter version of it a shorter this is the shorter version of extensor policies and it's called the extensor policies brevis mass with extensor uh, policies brevis muscle another muscle which we haven't seen in the super in the deep group is called the it extends the middle finger so what is the name of this muscle is the extensor indices extensor indices muscle and these are the muscles of the posterior compartment of the forearm this muscle is this is inconious it's actually a posterior compartment of the arm and not the forearm yeah all the muscles of the posterior compartment have been supplied by um, the radial nerve and they are all being covered by uh, a special band which is called the extensor retinaculum we haven't seen it here but we have extensor retinaculum and if you have paralysis of the radial nerve you can have um loss of sensation i mean loss of um extension and so we have impression of what wrist drop dropping of the wrist because this muscle extended the wrist extended the corpus the wrist and we have a wrist drop yep that is about it today. See you next time.